Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. This is the 8.30 p.m. class. I hope you all are amazing. So what's up? In this segment, we're going to talk about very important, our what you call the uh, respiratory system and the subtopic is asthma. I hope my voice is audible to everyone. Please, please put a message in the comment section if my where voice is audible for everyone. Thank you. So this is the Need PG platform. This is the Unacademy uh, topic and uh, my name is Dr. Anand. I'm MD Pediatrics. So in this Unacademy, most importantly, we are having this All India Mock Test. On this 26th February 9 a.m., we have this All India Mock Test which is happening on 9 a.m. All you have to do is unlock it by using this code and I hope my voice is audible to everyone please put a message in the comment section thank you so much and this is the amazing respiratory system we are doing and yes my voice is audible to me so i assume it is audible to you also hello osama sheikh what's up so have we have this all india mock test i want everyone to participate 26 february 9 am and also you can boost boost what boost me no you can boost your medical pg prep by buying the whole pack if you buy the 12 months pack you get two months complimentary if you buy the 24 months pack you get four months complimentary if you buy the 36 months back you get six months complimentary in the all you have to do is use a code i'll tell you the code and also in the unacademy we have something known as plus a subscription something known as iconic subscription in the plus subscription basically you get all the access to my live and recorded classes you get to study from the best of the best educators you get to you know you can watch me on your android on your ipad on your computer anywhere and you get to participate in various live test and quizzes whereas the iconic subscription is concerned okay how do i look i'm looking fine no okay great hmm in the iconic subscription you get the unacademy platform and you get the prep ladder subscription all the clinical notes rapid revision notes video lectures question bank test quizzes and gifts also uh, i'm very good in this marketing right i should you know join some multinational company i think <laughs> and also at the same time i told you this is the plus subscription and this is the iconic subscription all you have to use is use a code as a mbbs student sometimes it becomes a little difficult to buy a big pack so this code will be a little financially comfortable for you if you want to buy it the code is dr anand also congratulations to our amazing fmg december toppers and i i want you all to be there as the need pg has been postponed i want you all to work double hard for your exam <coughs> and you will rock it hello dr savan singh from uh, jakarta sir how are you sir jakarta se live hain aap kaise hain aap kya kar rahe hain aap Okay, and also please everyone participate in all various faculties who are working so hard to put you in the best of the best shape participate their lectures and watch them and also we have a special class feature if you download the unacademy app we have, unacademy has a special class feature where we put a lot of mcqs poll tomorrow we have a test today we will finish uh, what you call asthma and tomorrow we have a test on 100 mcqs on asthma on the uh, 100 questions on asthma on the unacademy app because we can put a poll there so it will be good and also we have the best question bank and this saturday like this weekend i i, am, I have a, what you call put a test also like a proper test uh, uh, like a, on a all india level i'll share the link with you later also we have made this batches need pg 2022 high yield mcq marathon batch and we have the comprehensive batch and the other batches are image based this is a good one image based discussion batch and ultra fast rapid revision batch and also for students who are preparing for the next year very good opportunity for all of you we have this target next integrated system wise batch 2023 and our iconic price drop alert has come which has its beautiful durations the old prices the new prices and the discount prices so it's lucky that we are participating let's start let's start the beautiful journey of the asthma this quote we have already done uh, i will continue with the uh, what you call our class of the asthma yes in the previous class we had covered till the short acting like okay if you want one second <coughs> hello neeraj Hello Nishi, hello Bhagwant, hello Subhashmita, Gohal and so many new people, Sandhu, Sandhu wrote something then she deleted, I don't know, hmm, okay, Sandhu says test of the whole respiratory system or only asthma, no dear, only asthma, 100 questions on asthma, only on asthma, only on asthma, so rare of the rare, uh, smallest of the smallest, 
biggest of the biggest mcq will be covering and uh, that will give you that will uh, that will judge your exact perfect knowledge of uh, how much have you read asthma and the asthma i have made mcqs from the gina guidelines gina guidelines g i n you must be knowing gina guidelines what is gina guidelines anyone you know that right it's a global initiative of asthma global initiative for the asthma we have uh, gina guidelines and through that only we have uh, made the mcqs and uh, like i have made personally all the mcqs and i want you all to participate hello priya what's up in the previous class in the evening class if you're a newcomer we spoke something about i would say in general about what is asthma uh, definition we spoke we spoke the classifications of uh, asthma and then we also covered what is peak expiratory flow rate and how do we use it then also we cover this beautiful volume time curve and a flow volume curve and then also i told you what is force expiratory volume then i told you what is force vital capacity then also i told you about the obstructive and restrictive lung diseases with examples and with detailed explanation if you are a newcomer uh, finish this video and watch the first half it will be fun you will like it and uh, that's it let's start with the continuation in the management of asthma we were at the bronchodilators in the bronchodilators i told you we have a short acting and long acting bronchodilators and in the short acting i have already covered regarding the adrenaline salbutamol and terbutaline yes very good beautiful umesh yes you are right and uh, <coughs> exactly so this much we have covered in the previous class and we're gonna do the continuation now and before starting any continuation topic what do you have we have the motivating quote so we have a beautiful dalai lama quote which sh which shares a very nice uh, information which sh which says share your knowledge share your knowledge it is a way to achieve immortality very beautiful very intellectual quote share your knowledge it is a way to achieve immortality like what if you have a very strong knowledge and if you share 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 and distribute to hell lot of the people in the whole planet you can never die your name your presence your way of teaching your way of explaining stuff will be always alive will always be you know glowing like a like a deep a glowing like a you know sunflower so it's like this so share your knowledge i have seen juniors of mine you know who are saying sir do sir please don't uh, what you call teach her sir uh, like uh, teach me only okay but she's not good in studies teach me sir i i am very good uh, there whatever you teach me you know i will <laughs> nicely what you called uh, study that don't teach her sir so i have seen a lot of students like that so don't have this habit of uh, what you called uh, teaching uh, you know hiding your skills teach share share knowledge be nice share knowledge okay that's what i'm saying once again i'll just close my whatsapp so that it won't be a distraction to all of us thank you very much okay let's continue yes so let's continue the beautiful topic yes we are starting with the uh bronchial asthma and we have this subhashmita sahu which says i'm i'm so thankful to you i'm a ninth semester student and studied from your neonatology video and i have done so well in my viva and practical very good that's what i want you are amazing very good okay let's start with the long acting let's put this let's have a very good vibe in this topic and let's put your best of the best vibration in this topic long acting can anyone help me with the question if this comes in a three marks question for mbbs student name some long acting bronchodilators can anyone help me with the names we have short acting and long acting right the short acting we have something no you all know that we have something known as what you call saba short acting beta agonist and something known as laba long acting beta agonist right very good very good yes so short acting beta agonist we did in the previous class which was nothing about which was nothing but adrenaline salbutamol and terbutaline very important and now in this class about the long acting long acting beta agonist we have nothing everyone is very 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 right sandhu uh, what he called hamid yes very good and we have something something known as salmetrol and formetrol very good so salmetrol and formetrol and most importantly we discussed that also that as it is a long acting the action is delayed by 30 to 60 minutes and most importantly but lasts for <coughs> 24 hours it's a long acting long acting it will last for 24 hours okay it will last for 24 hours okay very good very right so perfectly answering beautiful and then most importantly yes yes corticosteroids so what are we studying i am having asthma i am having spasm 
गिव मी शॉर्ट एक्टिंग गिव मी लॉन्ग एक्टिंग ओके यू गिव मी शॉर्ट एक्टिंग एंड लॉन्ग एक्टिंग ब्रॉन्को डायलेटर्स बट स्टेरॉइड्स If we talk about steroids, then then what? Then can we name any steroids? Can we have uh, the name of some steroids which are helpful in the this one? Anyone? Yeah, very good. मेरा वो आईफोन ना उसमें चला गया. Color जिसके invert हो गए हैं. पता नहीं कौन सा बटन दबा दिया मैंने. हाँ जी. So pancake says, sir, you're shining like a torch. Yes, I am a torch. I am a white torch. I am a torch of that laryngoscope which is very shiny. <laughs> just kidding so yes very good beautiful is steffi sandhu osama nishidhara and everyone has told steroids we have beclomethasone we have budesonide and we have fluticasone these three steroids are there which are helping us in a case of asthma try to participate as much as possible okay so we have steroids which is beclomethasone budesonide and fluticasone theek okay? hai fluticasone three steroids uh, very beautifully we have okay very good and most importantly like in general they ask questions yeah this is a very good question like steroids we are telling so is steroids beneficial in the long term the options they are yes they are very beneficial beneficial and no they are not beneficial like see we all know that right steroids is the mainstay of treatment for anything uh, if we talk about uh, nephrotic syndrome then prednisolone is the drug of choice if we talk about this asthma we are giving steroids beauty cord you know beauty cord nebulization we uh, 12 hourly we always give and it's like it will relieve in the spasm and it's like a anti inflammatory reaction the question is is steroids beneficial long term and uh, it is it beneficial yes or it is not beneficial and why why do you think people are saying no sir it is not beneficial uh, it is like if i'm having uh, asthma if my patient is having asthma can i write beauty cord like for 6 months or for 5 months बहुत अच्छा होता है ब्यूटी कोर्ट तो वाई वाई शुड नॉट आई राइट फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स और फाइव मंथ्स वाई आई एम टचिंग मोर टू यू नो ड्यूलिन और सैलबिटामोल एंड लेस टू ब्यूटी सोनाइड और ब्यूटी कोर्ट नेबलाइजेशन वाई वाई ओके उमेश सेज दैट इम्यूनो सप्रेशन इज कॉज ओके ब्यूटिफुल साउंड ओके स्मार्ट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट वी नीड टू दिस अगेन दैट्स एन एम सी क्यू ऑलवेज रिमेंबर Where is my pen? Yeah, always remember the chief concern. The chief concern with long-term use of inhaled steroids. The chief concern with long-term use of inhaled steroids is their adverse effect on the growth, with twenty percent reduction in the growth velocity reported in the first year. Steroids have a very, very, very bad short-term and long-term complication. Even some cases of steroids, the child can lead to hypertension, and of course, it's an MCQ. It can lead to growth reduction it can lead to gro growth reduction okay very important so that what is the take home message the take home message is that steroids for long term are not beneficial in any child see this is a medicine <coughs> topic also and a pediatrics topic also so remember if you're giving steroids you can give them for a short duration for this uh, severe spasm and all that but not for the long term because it causes growth reduction and long term side effects like hypertension next important point mast cell stabilizer so can we revise what are we studying asthma sub topic management of asthma what are the options we have sir first option you told about bronco dilators in that one you told about the short acting bronco dilators and the long acting bronco dilators then you told about what you called inhaled corticosteroids you told something about and now coming to the mast cell stable stabilizer so can anyone name some mast cell stabilizers and what is the role like what mcq should come in the exam that i should remember this point and i should tick in the option anyone yes very good himal is right dhara is right steffi nishi umesh juli tigri and ibza ibiza or ibza ibza or ibiza or ibza <laughs> i don't know tell me yeah very importantly mast cell stabilizer most importantly we have very important everyone knows about it we have chromolin sodium we have nidocromil or we have ketotifen in general okay yeah exactly savan singh is right ketotifen yes that's very true but buddy you are very right savan so mast cell stabilizers we have chromolin sodium nidocromil and ketotifen sir why sir why should i am i using uh, mast cell stabilizer sir we have option of steroids we have option of bronchodilator short acting long acting ye ye kahan se aa gaya why are we using 
mast cell stabilizer what is the role why are we using bro the most importantly it is used in like exercise induced asthma the very very important point we have some see that's what you have to learn for exam specified you there are some specified drugs for everything if i'm having exercise induced spasm and asthma my options are little very few number one we have mast cell stabilizer yes very very beautiful umesh is answering so mast cell stabilizer the options are chromolin sodium nidochromil and ketotifen used for mild to moderate persistent asthma sir sir what is this mild asthma and what is moderate persistent asthma it will come i'll tell you we have the severity and classification of asthma we have mild persistent moderate persistent and severe i'll tell you that but right now the key home message we need to understand for the exercise induced asthma we use mast cell stabilizer which are chromolin sodium nidochromil and ketotifen okay sounds amazing very good everyone is answering so beautifully very good in the end i'll sing a song remind me okay then we have leukotriene modifiers which everyone jumping jumping montelukas zakrlukas montelukas and all that so uh, this one leukotriene modifiers can anyone what you called uh, name some leukotriene modifiers now you should open your mouth which are very importantly montelukas and zafirlukas okay histamine blockers can be used instead yeah you can use that but uh, you know nelson says something else also nelson says for the exercise induced asthma leukotriene modifiers actually both are important leukotriene modifiers and also mast cell stabilizer remember the mast cell stabilizer is used for exercise induced asthma and also the leukotriene modifiers and this is a usually a better option because montelukas we also give in our in our hospital so montelukas and zafirlukas but remember monte lucas we given little in more than one year baby and zafir lucas baby who are little like 12 year or less than 12 years old why it is used it is used in the exercise induced asthma exercise induced asthma and they act by decreasing the synthesis of leukotrienes they act by their their leukotrienes modifiers okay monte lucas and zafir lucas again very important yes uh, shugufta praveen is very nice very rightly said exercise induced asthma okay so that's what and this was the mcq recent question 2014 in a child with exercise induced asthma which is done the options are prophylaxis with steroids is a better option prophylaxis with beta agonist is a better option prophylaxis with monte lucas is a better option or breathing exercise kya jawab denge aap kya likh ke aayenge kya apni besti kara ke aake aap a aur b likh ke aayenge ya chakkar kha ke d likh ke aayenge kya likh ke aayenge aap yes aapki shakal dekh ke lagta hai ki aap c likh ke aayenge agar aap c likh ke aayenge to aap kya honge winner that's it see say winner see say kuch aur nahi theek hai then people who have beautifully answered are bhagwant abhimanyu so many people han ji savan has put a c with a cat very good cat 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 order urine where do you see it's okay i'll ask you in the inborn errors of metabolism class and i'm planning to soon start a class on inborn errors of metabolism once you finish this topic i have made 100 mcqs on inborn errors of metabolism which is a excruciatingly important topic so remind me we'll have the class after we finish respiratory okay <laughs> chicken dinner yeah that's nice oh steffi says chicken dinner that's good uh pubg how many of you like pubg pubg no i think sabhi khelte honge i think i think every one of you uh used to play pubg right anyone who used to play pubg what do you think ibza pooja steffi or sama abu and faraz what do you think han ji very good so pubg hum sab khelte the main bhi bahut khelta tha very addicting like thoda bahut i had i have only one best friend so i used to play with him pubg so that's night acha who used to play priya nahi khelti thi umesh doesn't used to play like i have played little okay i'll not lie to you i have played little for half an hour every day in the night with my friend because you know you are chatting also talking also it's so addictive but then luckily within one week it became ban only and i'm like chalo it's okay no problem Savan also I played for a short time same here bro Steffi says no sir I don't play any games you should play some games play carrom play badminton or just jumping jacks like that is nice yes tom cat urine yeah there are two types of urine tom cat urine and another urine also okay so the tom cat urine what is tom cat like i'll take a proper class of your pancake in i'll take your class on iem what is tom cat what who is tom cat what female cat male cat or or a sexually active male cat 
वॉट इज टॉम कैट टी ओ एम क्या होता क्या है होता क्या है? क्या ये तुम हमारा दूसरा नाम है क्या है ये ओके स्टेफी सेस आई गो फॉर रनिंग डेली वेरी गुड रनिंग इज वेरी गुड आई एम टेलिंग यू आई गोट अ सिक्स पैक एप्स ओनली बिकॉज ऑफ रनिंग सो कैन वी मूव फर्दर ओके मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली येस एज एवरी वन नोज दैट ल्यूकोट्राइन रिसेप्टर एंटागोनिस्ट लाइक मॉन्टे लुकास एंड जाफिर लुकास दे हैव ब्रोंको डायलेटर ऑफकोर्स एंड एंटी इन्फ्लामेटरी प्रॉपर्टीज विच रिड्यूस एक्सरसाइज इंड्यूस्ड ब्रोंको कंस्ट्रिक्शन सो जस्ट द की होम मैसेज इज दैट फॉर द एक्सरसाइज इंड्यूस्ड एस्थमा वी यूज लिको लिकोट्राइन receptor modifiers or antagonist like monte lucas and zephyr lucas and also the second option we have is mast cell stabilizer right? like chromolin sodium nidochromil and ketotifen okay that's nice okay pancake says so much of network issue today do i have my network issue is my voice coming to everyone kya meri awaaz aa rahi hai yes or no mera issue to nahi hai na network ka bata dena <laughs> is my voice is my is my mind blowing voice coming or no it's not coming it's coming yeah it's coming no that's right <laughs> pancake please check your internet connection thank you aage badhte chalo haan ji so yeah and the theophylline already over it's a second line uh, therapy for uh, moderate persistent asthma that we already know yeah now now this is a very important classification this is a very important classification uh, what you called uh, perfect theek hai <laughs> so this is a very important classification on the asthma very important slide we going to discuss it's a very very important 5 marks mbbs question anyone who is a mbbs student is very important question how do you classify asthma what is moderate persistent asthma what is severe asthma this is what we are going to you know have a look on this uh, on on the slides so most importantly number 1 yeah the various the classification of asthma we have intermittent asthma we have mild persistent moderate persistent and severe persistent asthma let's in this class i don't want you to cram but at least try to have a concept see it it won't be it it won't be easy to uh, learn every single line which i'm saying right now in this class you need to watch this class for the second time also because for these detailed symptoms right now just have a just have a discussion you know how do you classify asthma there are four classification we have intermittent asthma we have mild persistent asthma moderate persistent and severe persistent okay very simple okay and it is divided into daytime symptoms nighttime symptoms peak expiratory flow rate which we remember the peak expiratory flow meter was there that that force expiration which i do in that peak in that peak expiratory flow meter i am checking my peak expiratory flow rate right we did in the first class and also the long term prevention so how like you know how should we start off with the classification of asthma very good pancake is right okay it's for you what is for you okay mujhe cheek aa rahi hai aa cheek no sorry hmm yes okay already people are jumping with answers sound impressive let's go so we have uh, intermittent asthma we have day time symptoms night time symptoms pfr and long term prevention so yes the day time if anyone having any day time symptom less than one time a week okay less time one time less than one time a week the day time symptom and less than two times per month the night time symptoms okay that is known as intermittent asthma this okay listen very carefully we'll finish this then directly there's an mcq try to answer the mcq okay intermittent asthma mild persistent moderate persistent and severe persistent okay intermittent asthma most importantly less than one time per week and uh, in the day time and less than two times per month in the night time okay and peak expiratory flow rate more than 80% which is predicted okay that is known as uh, that means i have intermittent i have intermittent asthma in that one of course you will give me kind of a saba short acting beta agonist like you know what you called sos you will give me saba like give me a salbutamol mol nebulizer and that's it okay yeah if they are needed more than 3 times a week if you have to give me saba for more than 3 times a week please move to step 2 what is the step 2 step 2 very important yeah thank you pancake so the step 2 is mild persistent what is mild persistent asthma how the day and night times are divided in the mild see it's very easy okay it is less than 1 it is more than 1 okay chote chote thoda aise yaad rakho and very important less than 2 
more than two keep things very light smart work smart studies don't uh, you know exaggerate your mind so heavy okay so less than one more than one less than one time per week and in, in mild persistent if i'm having daytime symptoms more than one time per week but less than one time per day okay and uh, in the night time i have more than two time symptoms i have per month okay that's it and uh, the variability again more than 80 percent is my pefr okay so that's what you know so in this case what will you give me of course you will give me a saba of course then you will give me an inhaled corticosteroids that is first thing okay so in the in the first case you gave me just saba okay in the second case you give me a saba and low dose inhaled corticosteroid okay and yeah understood and anyhow the treatment part the treatment part of the asthma has a chart we have a gina guideline there's a chart i'll show you that chart you can take a screenshot and it will be easy for you it will cover almost everything now this is like daytime and the nighttime symptoms are important for an mcq this is an mcq so remember i'm stressing this point for the moderate persistent asthma what happens daily in the daytime daily i'm using beta 2 agonist you can daily daily use beta 2 agonist and that's what and my attacks are affect, affecting my activity and in the night time of course more than one time per week more than one time per week i'm you know i'm kind of having this fast breathing and spasm like that right and then my this one peak expiratory flow rate that <laughs> Then the machine which I which I did a forced expiration, I can only do till 60 to 80 percent uh, as compared to the total 100 percent. So 60 to 80 percent predicted variability was there, like prediction was there. And what will you give me in that case? Of course, you'll give me a Saba. For everything first, you'll give me a Saba. Of course, then in, in this case, you will give me a medium. You'll give me a medium dose inhaled corticosteroids and a LABA, long acting beta agonist. Long acting beta agonist. Again, for everyone I'm telling you, it will be difficult for you if you're a newcomer it will be like you know little difficult to you to, to get the every single line so just you know just have a what do you call it have an overview about it and last but not the least then we have severe persistent asthma last one so severe means everything is bad every day continuous i'm having uh, in the daytime i'm having this uh, continuous attacks with limited physical activity night symptom also i'm having frequent my peak expiratory flow rate is less than 60 percent is less than 60 percent then to you give me everything then of course you will give me a in everything start with saba then of course then there is ics inhaled corticosteroids and of course you will give me a high dose no naturally in this way you in this uh, step two you give me a low dose inhaled corticosteroid in step three you give me a, you gave me a medium dose uh, inhaled corticosteroids and in step four you give me a high dose high dose inhaled corticosteroids and then of course in the end everyone gives me laba laba saba ics and laba that's what you give me right yeah exactly so that's what very good very good very good very good so if this is the this is the overview uh, not overview this is like almost a full picture of how do you classify asthma so please remember the key home message we have is like you know less than one more than one and daily okay uh, like this like a rough sketch you should know i am having daytime symptoms less than one time a week more than one time a week <coughs> and da daily if i'm having like i'm giving you a rough estimation okay now let's do one yeah very important yes yes behind yeah sandhu says can't see the text behind your head yeah don't worry dear this part no okay where should i go should i go here should i go where where here okay i don't know how to minimize it but okay don't worry dear this part i will show you uh we have a separate chart also i'll show you one second should i go here 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 okay here okay yeah i think i can hear it <laughs> can you look at it i don't think so you can look at it don't worry i'll show you a slide let's do an mcq now let's do an mcq very important wait i would like to show you the mcq first one second i want to show you the mcq one second uh one second yeah this is the mcq so let's see uh what you called uh this mcq a four year old child now listen now if this mcq you you if this mcq you make it right means somehow you have understood the classification of estimate it's a jipmer question 2013 a four year old child a four year old child uh what you called uh yeah uh with bronchial asthma presented with history of three or more than three episode during daytime during daytime it was having three or more than three 
एंड टू वीजिंग एपिसोड इन द नाइट टाइम टू वीजिंग एपिसोड इन द नाइट टाइम इन अ वीक इन अ वीक सो हाउ विल यू ग्रेड दिस एस्टमा हाउ विल यू ग्रेड दिस एस्टमा जिपमा टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन सो वट डू यू थिंक गाइज ऑन अ रफ स्केच आई विल नॉट बी वेरी टफ विद यू बट ऑन अ रफ स्केच वॉट डू यू थिंक इज इट अ माइल्ड परसिस्टेंट मॉडरेट परसिस्टेंट और सीवियर परसिस्टेंट ए बी सी डी what do you think if you answer this question then of course there are chances like you have understood this part ek to mera inverted colors ho gaya hai pata nahi kaise ho gaya inverted colors maine kuch button daba diya lagta hai one second okay invert aa gaya smart invert ha chala gaya thank god exactly yes very beautiful people have answer the best answer for this question is nothing but moderate persistent moderate persistent asthma very good so very beautifully people have uh, so jinal is right uh, pooja is right so it's perfect very good so savan is almost right so remember see what happens in moderate persistent can we revise moderate persistent in moderate persistent asthma okay i'll go uh, wait, let me go to what do you called left no left right left 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 ye wala left okay you can take a screenshot let me see if it is fine for you okay in the moderate persistent asthma night time symptoms how many i am having i am having more than one time per week okay i think shubhangi meri aa rahi hai photo jaldi se kheech lo photo kaam aa jayegi theek hai yes so in the in the very importantly in the uh, step 3 moderate persistent asthma my night time symptoms are more than one time per week in the mcq also my night time symptoms are two you know two wheezing episodes in a night time in a week so that's what more than one time in a week right so that's what this touching towards that's exactly this touching what towards the moderate persistent asthma very very good let's move further okay this so again we have a motivating quote in between which says the planet does not need more successful people the planet does not need more successful people the planet desperately needs more peacemakers healers restorers storytellers and lovers of all kinds beautiful quote by the lai lama so nice so beautiful so that's what the planet the pla it's a self explanatory quote the planet does not need more successful people the planet desperately needs the peacemakers healers restorers storytellers and lovers of all kind so means everything is beautiful it's amazing just be amazing be nice and be happy and be gentle with everyone and yes on the okay you want to in the share that uh an academy community sir thank you is it possible to share pictures on the uh, on the community page uh, acha this quote you are saying surely i'll share this on the on the community page done okay let's uh, continue this yes exactly so now in the also i would like to show you one thing there was some question they had asked what is controlled asthma what is partially controlled asthma and what is uncontrolled asthma okay controlled asthma uh, partially controlled asthma and uncontrolled asthma okay again that depends on the daytime symptoms limitation of activity nocturnal symptoms and need for reliever of rescue drugs okay again again yeah that's very importantly yes i'll uh, share that stephy no problem so that's what, so in the controlled and partially controlled and uncontrolled asthma what does that mean that means most importantly if my uh, like see you are giving me treatment and i you need to check whether i am on the i am controlled state i am on the partially controlled state or i am the uncontrolled state okay controlled means of course daytime symptoms none no daytime symptoms i am having theek hai twice a week or less okay daytime symptoms limitation of activity none nocturnal symptoms none and need for liver drugs almost almost none so control to is nothing control is like everything is fine i am on a controlled state controlled state this is important mcq the mcq comes on the partially controlled asthma what is partially controlled asthma when my daytime symptoms are more than twice per week when they are more than twice per week the daytime symptoms okay and limitation of activity any limitation of activity any night time symptoms and more than twice per week so it's same okay more than twice per week and more than twice per week my daytime symptoms and my need for any rescue drugs if it is more than twice per week 
then I will say it is a partially controlled. It is a partially controlled asthma. And most importantly, what is uncontrolled asthma? Three or more features of the partially controlled asthma. Three or more than three features of the partially controlled asthma is nothing but is, uh, uh, no, will be known as uncontrolled asthma. Right now, it might look little tough to you, but this is at least I'm saying, you know, second time you have to go through this picture, at least take a screenshot and put on your notes. What is controlled asthma? What is partially controlled asthma? And what is uncontrolled asthma? Okay, let's move further. After this, most importantly, yes. This is a very important picture. This is the latest guideline which says, you know, step one, what do you do? Step two, what you do? Step three, step four and step five. In, I'll share in the groups also. This picture is very important. As everyone knows, we have done in the step one, we always give me Saba. You will give me short acting beta agonist. What is Saba? Saba is short acting beta agonist. What will you, if, if I don't get a relief with Saba, what will you give me? You will give me Saba. Then you will give me, like you can give me an inhaled cortico, you know, kind of a low dose, low dose inhaled corticosteroids. You will give, if not relieving, relieving, then you will give me a high dose inhaled corticosteroids. Okay. And if I'm going into step three, what will you give me? So you'll give me a Saba. You'll give me a low dose inhaled corticosteroids and LTRA, nothing but leukotriene receptor antagonist. Okay. And then comes to step four and step five. It's a small picture later I'll share with you once. Right now it might look difficult, but but this is the very important uh, you know treatment protocol of the asthma okay let's move further with the important ones yeah so the newer drugs in asthma there was one mcq on this topic what are the newer drugs in asthma i should have asked you this question before showing you the slide we have omalizumab we have mipolizumab and we have dupalizumab these three zumabs are very 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 important omalizumab we have mipolizumab and we have dupalizumab so one two and three these are the very important yes Steffi, you're right these are the newer drugs in asthma omalizumab mipolizumab and this is nothing but dupalizumab omalizumab is nothing but anti-ige it is anti-ige mediated okay and mipolizumab and dupalizumab the mcq which they asked in the recent exam was this only one second i'll show you the mcq the very important it was this one humanized monoclonal antibody that binds with IgE to prevent binding to high affinity receptor and blocking the IgE mediated allergic response and inflammation in bronchial asthma is what recent question 2017 so what do you think a b c d now see this is a tough one okay might be it look little tough to you but this is how uh, the 2017 question is this which is the antibody which is the drug which blocks the ige mediated ige mediated allergic response so i told you ige it's like the options are omalizumab mepolizumab and dupalizumab so omalizumab is nothing but anti ige so that is why our best question is nothing but omalizumab omalizumab blocks the ige mediated allergic response yes exactly great yes very good very right okay so that's what i'm trying my best to show you the mcq also so that you can get a little touch that what kind of questions are being asked in this one okay now let's do these easy ones easy ones okay yes now the easy part selection of a proper inhalation device i am having asthma you plan to give me a, a nebulizer like you plan to give me a saba short acting beta agonist the options everyone knows yes this question in the first class only i have asked which uh, pancake did wrong inhalational route is better or oral route is better now you guys have to answer fast 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 inhalational route is better if you give me a nebulizer like inhalational is better or you'll give me a syrup salbutamol so everyone knows of course very good abhimanyu pancake and sefi and shagupta inhalational is much better Chalo, i agree with you inhalational is better as it has a rapid onset of action and less side effects so everyone knows about it i assume everyone knows that inhalational route is much better because fast hota it is a rapid onset of action and less side effects I hope this much we understand. Yes. Now, what are the inhalational devices? Now, this is the good question. Anyone can anyone tell me what are the inhalational devices we have? The more you participate, there are hundred percent more chances that you will crack this exam. So, do we know any inhalational devices? Agar if you if you have to give me salbutamol through inhalation, how will you give me? How? What are the options? Exactly. Either we have. So I'll show you. Either we have a MDI. 
वन सेकेंड क्या इधर वी हैव अ एम डी आई मीटर्ड डोज इनहेलर विच एवरी वन नोज एम डी आई इज नथिंग बट मीटर्ड डोज इनहेलर इधर यू ओके हाउ डज इट लुक लाइक सर वट इज दिस एम डी आई सर सर आई हैवर सीन एन एम डी आई वट इज वट इज दिस एम जी एम डी आई एम डी आई इज नथिंग बट दिस वन दिस इज नथिंग बट मीटर्ड डोज इनहेलर एम डी आई दिस इज नथिंग बट एम डी आई मीटर्ड डोज इनहेलर दिस इज वन वे यू कैन गिव मी अनो इनहेलेशनल रूट ऑफ दी वॉट यू कॉल एनी ड्रग ओके वॉट इज दिस नाउ सो दिस इज नथिंग बट मीटर्ड डोज इनहेलर एंड स्पेसर and a spacer for small babies for children basically this if you attach a metered dose inhaler with a spacer then the, then the particles and the, and the, you know the, i will not go in i won't go too much in detail but it has a better action you give me it's better for children you give metered dose inhaler with spacer with spacer right yeah in seen in many movies also very true this pubg is very true can we see that very 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 beautiful picture it could be a very important image based question the patient is having what see image based memory is everything in life the patient is having metered dose inhaler and yes the patient what is this this is nothing but spacer this is nothing but spacer i have i hope this much we can able to understand very good yes exactly saf is right aman dube is also very right okay and what is this now again a very beautiful image based question what is this connection what are these three various past parts number one this one is a metered dose inhaler this one of course is the spacer and what is the third thing what is this this is nothing but a मास्क येस और नो इज नथिंग बट मास्क येस एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली सो अमन दुबे बस इतना याद रखिएगा कि स्पेसर जो पार्टिकल्स होते हैं ना जो नेबुलाइजर के जो हम जो पफ देते हैं यहाँ पे ना इसको प्रेस करना होता है ये वाले को इसको ऐसे पिस करना होता है तो जो जो एरोसोल पार्टिकल्स है ना वो डिस्पर्स होते हैं बेसिकली वो डिस्पर्स होते हैं और जो स्पेसर है वो स्पेसर में और अच्छे से डिस्पर्स होते हैं और उतने ज़्यादा बच्चे के लंग्स में जाते हैं उतने ज़्यादा वो पार्टिकल्स बच्चा इनहेल करता है और बेटर फील करता है बस इतना आपको पता होना चाहिए ठीक है सो नंबर वन दे इज़ एम डी आई नंबर टू देर इज़ ए एम डी आई विद स्पेसर देन वी हैव एम डी आई विद स्पेसर विद मास्क वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड देन वॉट इज दिस ये क्या है आई डोंट नो वॉट इज दिस This तो I know it is a metered dose inhaler. What is this? If this becomes an image based question, what will you write and come? And see this photo is also nice. This pay. What is this patient is taking like this? Is it a vodka or champagne? What is this? Exactly. This is another new latest variety known as dry powder inhalers. Dry powder inhalers. The latest one which we use is nothing but dry powder inhalers. Okay. Yeah. Very good pancake. Very good. So Umesh pancake. I mean new. Very good. And Subhashmita Sahu. Yes. Rota inhaler. You can say that. Yeah. It's a dry powder inhaler. That's what we use. Dry powder inhaler. Which latest we use. Karte hain. And that's what. It's an exam question. I'll repeat again. So the options we have is MDI. और एम डी आई विथ स्पेसर एम डी आई विथ स्पेसर विद मास्क ड्राई पाउडर इनहेलर विच आई शोड द लास्ट पिक्चर एंड देन वी हैव द नेबुलाइजर वी हैव द नेबुलाइजर विच नेबुलाइजर आई थिंक आई हैव अ फोटो या दिस वन कैन वी सी दैट आई डोट नो वाई दिस एरो इज कमिंग सो दिस वन दिस इज आवर नेबुलाइजर दिस इज आवर नेबुलाइजर ओके या वेरी गुड डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड येस और नो I hope you are able to get the little picture. How does it look like? So this is our, of course, nebulizer. Is this is nothing. This baby name is Savan. He is just playing with the what do you call this one? Hey, pagal bana raha hai. Ye usko koi kastma nahi hai. Bas ha 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 ha. Bas is playing with this one. Okay, very good. So this is the nebulizer. This is a metered dose inhaler or dry powder inhaler. Uh, this is the dry powder inhaler, of course. This is MDI with spacer with mask. This is MDI with spacer, and this is MDI with spacer. This is only and only MDI, only and only MDI. Okay. Okay. Use green color. Okay, fine. I'll use green color, dear. No problem. Done. Okay. And the pathophysiology. That's what you were asking me, right? Okay. How does the spacer work? Green color. You want a green? Okay. We will use green. Okay. So yeah, pathophysiology. See why there is in this no why in asthma why there is a see why there is diffuse airway obstruction in asthma why there is a spasm or why there is a airway obstruction due to the edema. and inflammation of the mucous membrane lining the airways as we all know in asthma there is a spasm hai na there is a involuntary contraction there is a <laughs> like there is a spasm i can't take a breath why you are not able, why i am not able to take a breath because i have edema i have inflammation of the mucous membrane which is lining my full airway so to relieve that spasm you need to give me something which you know kind of a smooth muscle dilatation or smooth muscle relaxer 
and all these things are those things okay so it reduces the edema and it, re it reduces the inflammation okay inflammation okay this part is done also okay done okay let me ask yeah this is the good question again recent question 2015 let's see if you can answer a child of less than one year a child of less than one year should be used the following device for asthma treatment so what will you answer yeah exactly that's true that's why umesh is right bronchospasm inflammation of the bronchial mucosa and yeah exactly so yeah question 60 the child less than one year ek saal se kam ke bacche mein kya use karenge aap only mdi with spacer mdi with mask mdi with spacer with mask and mpi with mask so i think everyone is right nishi puja ibza himal pancake subhashmita umesh gupta aman so many people are answering very good so the best answer of course it is nothing but mdi with spacer with mask so can we appreciate we are doing theory as well as mcq theory as well as mcq so this is important we must understand mdi with spacer with mask this one it's a very beautiful picture of mdi with spacer with mask okay exactly and this also this spacer has a uh, has a part known as adapter this is nothing but adapter okay that you should know and this is the mask perfect 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 let's go okay easy question all india pg 2007 very old question one year old child with asthma one year old child with asthma most common mode of treatment what is the most common most a one year old comes to my oh, a casualty what will you give me will you give him inhaled short acting beta 2 agonist will you give him short acting theophylline will you give him oral ketotifen or you'll give him leukotriene and agonist so what do you think a b c d exactly yes shagufta says mdi with spacer till eight years yes some book says that yes that's very true so beautifully julie tigri is answering puja ibda bhagwant pubg savan and jinnal and pancake very good so again again it's a mcq remember remember okay yeah most commonly most commonly used in all the age groups is nothing but inhaled short acting beta 2 agonist inhaled short acting beta 2 agonist is what is most commonly used in all the age groups so one year old very important with asthma so <coughs> inhaled short acting beta 2 agonist done very good yeah this is again a good question this we have discussed in our groups also uh, all in aims November 2019 question um, now this you have to use brains okay it, uh, while, while reading this question imagine you are yourself there at the casualty a three year old in casualty with shortness of breath okay for one day his one day history of bronchial asthma was present child was blue gasping and unresponsive what will you do first what will you do the child is blue the child is gasping what will you do first again okay, see and that could this could be a, like a kind of a kind of a controversial uh, country controversial answer what will you do okay himal says option number d Achha, many people says option number d Achha. so okay first you give the answer then i'll tell you anyone okay everyone says d ye dekho log aaye barat mein yahan pe chacha ji ki shaadi hai ek ne d bola to puri duniya d hi bolegi hai na ek ne agar 100 rupaye diye haan ji hogi low battery laga raha hu pen ke laga raha hu hai na laga diya maine dekho maine laga diya pen tar charging is it fine pen ke charging over yeah uh, okay so what do you think uh, answer d hai par c kyun lag raha hai aman dubey ab dekho dhyan se dekho uh, sochne wali baat hai uh, see uh, uh, option number d can never be the answer option number d can never be the answer why kyun sir why it is not the answer uh, just imagine you are in casualty let's just filter these points a 3 year old in casualty with shortness of breath <laughs> He's having shortness of breath. Okay. History of bronchial asthma. Okay, fine. No problem. The child is blue. Imagine I am having shortness of breath. I am blue. <laughs> I'm gasping. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of unresponsive. Okay. I'm kind of unresponsive. So what will you give me? I am blue. I'm gasping for life. I'm unresponsive. Like uh, almost I'm going into shock, I would say. So just nebulize hell bit of all just nebulize 
only do you think i'm gasping for life you will give me only uh, you know salbutamol yesterday i had my night duty i had 17 newborns and three patient one on ventilator and one baby fourth i had to intubate because the baby was actually the baby was gasping but over here not intubate but are you understanding you know like the shortness of breath and blue and gasping and unresponsive the child is in shock the child is like landing into failure impending failure the child is going into fatigue any once so again in your medicine if you become a md medicine also any patient who is having shortness of breath and he is like little gasping and little unresponsive he is going into failure he is getting tired he is going into fatigue he is going into impending failure his gcs is going poor you might have to ventilate the baby you might have to ventilate the this child okay so nebulize with only salbutamol it's not a happy it's not a normal child okay who has just come with wheezing and craps and uh, this and that so nebulize with salbutamol no it's not the right option 100% mask also no i don't think so anyone who is gasping and unresponsive and almost going into failure and fatigue i don't think so 100% mask of course i will give ma- uh, oxygen i will give everyone knows right airway breathing and circulation and oxygen and this and that is the mainstay of treatment but that's not enough so we are left with only two options either you intubate the child or you will ventilate with bag and mask ventilation and oxygen and the best answer to this question will be option number c the child is blue the child is gasping he is unresponsive going into failure fatigue going into shock you might have to number 1 of course ventilate the child with bag and mask ventilation and give oxygen and, and of course this child will be intubated without fail anyone going into failure and fatigue yeah exactly this patient will go into intubation also but f- before intubation what do you do you don't directly intubate right you do bag and mask no you do bag and mask you give oxygen and then if the patient not responding then you will intubate so the best answer for this question is nothing but ventilate with bag and mask and oxygen samajh mein aaya dimag mein ghusa ke nahi ghusa theek hai yeah <clears throat> okay pancake says nice acting okay ifza says you have been a better actor if you weren't a doctor okay thank you thank you very much thank you that's very nice of you kind of you okay so means a patient is blue and cyanotic and gasping means it is going into respiratory failure so better in a case of respiratory failure ventilate the child with bag and mask ventilation okay savan singh understood yes that's beautiful right perfect बहुत ही बेहतरीन आंसर दिया है सब लोगों ने ठीक है इज द चैप्टर ओवर या एक्चुअली द चैप्टर इज ऑलरेडी ओवर सो येस द चैप्टर इज ओवर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द पार्टिसिपेशन दैट फिनिशेज ऑलमोस्ट or there is everything about bronchial asthma and you know much part of it will be dealt tomorrow also tomorrow as we have a t- very strong test on bronchial asthma you will be re- will be revealing very rare questions again detailed questions and lot of amazing stuff so you better participate it will be nice okay and uh, yeah thank you so much sachin danand and uh, before leaving we have this so everyone now 9:30 after within the body called 5 uh, minutes we have this open house what is open house right now at 9:30 pm we have this open house session open house is like a oral test every day now i'll be taking your oral test for 15 20 minutes i'll be asking you fast fast rapid revision like a rapid fire questions of general pediatrics later i'll divide into respiratory then cardio then endo then git but today i am feeling like asking random questions and some questions of mrcp ch also so uh, what do you called uh come to uh, it's only for the android users number one it's only for the android users uh, iphone update will come in the next month if you are an android user open uh, your phone type the password 12340 okay then don't show to your girlfriend okay and then you open an academy app and there is a big option written open house join open house like that join that and i'll be there at 9:30 roughly around 9:30 pm okay yes dr aman dubey says aapke jaise teachers mile to 19 subjects main 19 gold medal hat le aaunga that's so sweet that's amazing very sweet of you buddy thank you so much haan ji pancake says how is the question level in the test is it tough it's for you to it is a piece of cake you to don't ask only is it tough or it is this one for you it you will close the eyes tum aake ban bhi karke na a iska a hoga acha isko chalo b likh kar deti hu acha iska d achman kar raha d click karne ka chalo d click kar diya maine 
तुम ऐसे भी करोगे तो हो जाएगी तुम्हारे नंबर आ जाएंगे तुम टेंशन मत लो फॉर एवरी वन एल्स येस दट क्विज इज वेरी टफ तो यू बेटर स्टडी एंड द हिंट इज रीड जीना गाइडलाइंस जीना ग्लोबल इनिशिएटिव ऑफ एस्तमा सो दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट अच्छा एंड देन वट यू कॉल वन मोर थिंग बिफोर लिविंग दिस ब्यूटिफुल ब्यूटिफुल कोर्ट ओके आई शुड गो टू लेफ्ट ओके दिस इज द लेफ्ट सो रीड दिस कोर्ट गिव द वंस इज अ वेरी नाइस कोर्ट मुझे बड़ा अच्छा लगा एक्चुअली है गिव द वंस यू लव विंग्स टू फ्लाई रूट्स टू कम बैक एंड रीजन्स टू स्टे वेरी नाइस वेरी मीनिंगफुल कोर्ट वेरी मीनिंगफुल वेरी मीनिंगफुल कोर्ट गिव द वंस यू लव विंग्स टू फ्लाई you know wings to fly so we always say right people you love you can't you can't control someone right i can't force you to stay with me and i can't force someone to to go away from me if someone has to stay they will stay if someone has to go they will go no matter what so give the ones you love wings to fly let them fly let them you know discover people let them discover life let them discover the they discover the way they want to live life you know let them do that right don't hold them so give the ones you love wings to fly but also it's a very beautiful line roots to come back also give so much of love give so much of affection give so much of care and the roots and the values you know like our parents right so our parents have given us so much of good values that we always come back to our parents we go this that you know uh, get uh, beaten up or get abused or get uh, de- rejected dejected and this and that but again in the end where do we go <laughs> we go to our parents or even you can go to a best friend so uh, that's what give the ones you love wings to fly let them go and enjoy and discover roots to come back always be a shelter to your loved ones and reasons to stay there should be a reason that your love should be so pure so selfless and so selfless that they will stay anyhow so if you do this way i think life is beautiful so give the one give the ones you love wings to fly roots to come back and reasons to stay okay thank you so much for the participation i hope something uh, went inside your head and uh, it's important yes see you in 5 minutes on the android platform in the mobile it works it won't work on the ipad it won't work on the laptop it will work on the android phone and open house there's an option there ओके दैट्स इट सो सफीर से सर यूर अमेजिंग थैंक यू अपनी सारे कंसेप्ट क्लियर किए थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच प्लीज एवरी वन ज्वाइन द टेस्ट टू मोरो इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट हंड्रेड एम सी क्यूज हंड्रेड 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 एम सी क्यूज सो अगर वो कर लिया ना तो ये छोटे छोटे जो हमने डाउट्स हैं जैसे मॉडरेट प्रोसेसन एस्तमा सीवियर प्रोसेसन एस्तमा ऑल दोज डाउट्स विल बी वेरी वेल क्लियर ओके टूडे जस्ट रीड जीना गाइडलाइंस पी डी एफ इज अवेलेबल ऑन द गूगल एवरीवेयर जीना गाइडलाइंस ओके थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन टेक केयर एंड सी यू इन फाइव मिनट्स आई एल जस्ट क्लोज द ऐप थैंक यू नहीं तो मैं नहीं कर रहा अपना कर <coughs> आज का लिंक जनरेट ही नहीं हो पाया वो ऑडियो पॉडकास्ट का कल होगा अब हम कल करेंगे ठीक है गुड नाइट क्या हो गया जो देख
नहीं है नहीं है अभी मैं कह रहा हूँ नहीं आया ये मूवी अभी 